Good morning to you. Thanks for visiting my Laurie Pop channel where ideas pop. An idea that popped into my head was to use fake flowers in my front yard. Do you think I have fallen off my rocker? Well, I haven't. I'm sitting in my rocker on my front porch in Houston. Let me know what you think. Here you have a look-see at my front yard. Well, part of it. And I want to know, can you tell which ones are fake? <laughs> Can you tell, tell which ones were living at one time? Yes, that's why I have a problem. So I'm going to put some fake flowers in here and see if you think it helps. Hello, good morning, Car. I promise I'm done trying the British accent. I just have to use my normal accent. So I've been to Hobby Lobby and here's what I got. If you're gonna go with flowers, the flowers if they're fake, <laughs> the flowers need to be tiny, on the tinier scale, so that when people drive by or when they walk to your front door, they're not like, whoa, there is no way a living flower should look like that. Anyway, here is what I found, and I think red goes with my brick the best, so I got four of these, but do I want to put all four of them in there? Probably not. I don't know. Let's see. Then I'm going to, I also got this that looks like an aloe plant, which is kind of alien looking, Venus flytrap looking, but it spreads. So it almost looks a little natural. Let's see. I got two of those. So it would almost be like this. Then, if I put the flowers in, remember I can cut them down, bend them a little bit. Okay. How's it going? I like it so far. I do not have a green thumb. It just, as soon as I plant something, it dies. I forget to water it or the heat just comes back and just oh, dries it up. But I love the thought of it. I think I'm more concerned about inside my house when people enter. But I thought, you know, from a distance, this does not look fake. Oh my word, I love it. I love it. What do you think? I also decided to get this. I just think this screams Texas, and I don't know if they just never die, but if I got a hold of them, they would die. It's like that coleus look, but you can see it's kind of pink, and I'm, I need to stare towards red, but let's see how it looks once I've arranged it. I could do both of them. And remember, there are going to be bushes in front, so you can't even see this pot, but I, I don't know. I'll show you pictures of what it looks like out front in a little bit. So let's stick the aloe with it and see what that does to brighten it up. Okay, oh, you got some, you got something sticking out of your ears back there, it looks like. Is that what it says or does it look good? Looks a little off balance. I like symmetry. Ooh, I like that look kind of. Let's see. Coleus always crawl and spread down. So maybe something like that. I don't know. This might look a little fake. If you look closely, here's what the flower looks or the leaf looks like. I'll have to think on that one. Take some pictures and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I also got some ferns, and they are humongous. They were $15 each, but here's what they look like. So I realized this morning on day like 45 of this front yard fake flower project that I never showed y'all this big old fern that I bought to put in the pot. And I wanted you really to see the scale of it. It's like this big, okay? Welcome to the jungle! All right. But... When you put it in the pot, it really 
does not look that big, does it? It looks real to me, but I don't need it to be that high off the ground. So I'm probably just going to put it in the front yard, like with the mulch and stuff. Um, but one thing I wanted to remind you of is that fake flowers are returnable. So if they don't fit the personality that you want in the front of your house, then you can return them, even if it's been 45 days. <laughs> uh, so uh, I don't really care about the front yard and how it looks for me to feel happy about my home. I, I'm more interested in the inside of my house, and I want that to really speak the personality of, that I want for people to see when they come in our house. Not, I don't want it to be fancy, but I just want it to be um, warm and welcoming. But for you, it might mean that's how your front yard is to you, and you are really interested, or in your garden, you, you just want to speak love through your front yard, and that is totally fine. And one way you can do that is by buying fake flowers and putting them in your pot. And that way you can spread sunshine in whatever part of your yard you want to move it to. That's another good thing is that it's mobile if you put it in pots. So, do you give it a green thumbs up or a green thumbs down? Here's wishing you happy fake planting. <laughs> Thanks for popping over.